Welcome to Real World Real Estate, where we will explore, examine, and explain the real process of buying or selling real estate. Here is your host, Stephen Clyde. Hey everybody, how you doing? Stephen Clyde here, and thank you for joining in on the very first episode of our new podcast series, Real World Real Estate. I'm excited to be with you today, and I really look forward to you joining us every week as I try to share my knowledge and insight into real estate and how it applies in the real world. So before we get started, um, I do want to thank Matt Cappy, who's a friend I've grown up with, and that was his music that brought us into the show, which is called East Philly. It's a single from his first album, Church and State. And I want to thank my admin, Gab, whose voice you heard on the introduction, and will be joining us throughout the podcast as we move forward. Hello. For just about everybody here, uh, this is your first exposure to me, my work, what I do, and what I have done. So as Gab had mentioned in the introduction, this podcast is to explore, examine, and explain the real process of buying or selling a home in today's world. One of the things you're going to find with me and the show is that we're all about experience and insight. We live in an age where anyone can claim to be an expert on anything through either blogs, blogs, or social media. That claim alone doesn't mean they have the experience or the direct knowledge or expertise to discuss that topic. It just means they claim to. So everyone we bring on this show will have direct experience on the topic we are discussing. We'll never have a guest on who hasn't done it, practiced it, lived it, and they better have gotten the t-shirt from it. This includes me, because I'm going to hold myself to the same standard I'm going to hold all of those guests to. So with that in mind, I want to share a little bit about myself, where I come from, what I've done, why my opinion on real estate, buying and selling a home is valuable, and worth your time to listen to. So just as I would say to you as a client that I was meeting face-to-face for the first time, you're going to get my opinion on things, and you're going to get my advice and my experience, but ultimately you're going to give the, de- the direction. My goal in meeting with those clients and giving them that opinion and all of that experience is so that they have all the needed information to make an intelligent and not an emotional decision when it comes to one of the most complicated, most stressful, and biggest purchases in anyone's life. So who's Stephen Clyde? Well, I was born and raised in Berlin Township, New Jersey, Camden County. I'm the youngest of Robert and Leona Clyde's six kids. I was actually the baby's baby, and as my sisters would say, a spoiled brat. Uh, My mother was the youngest of 10. My father supported us all through our life as an automobile salesman, and my mother was actually the township clerk for over 40 years. As the youngest of six, two boys and four girls, we grew up not having a lot, but at the same time, we really didn't know it. We had nine people in a 900-square-foot home with just three bedrooms and one bath for everyone to share. Could you imagine that today? Every kid not having their own bedroom. Some of them want their own bath. There was no room to play video games. There was no space to get away or to have a playroom. We just made it work. Uh, I married my amazing wife, Donna, in 1994. And in the hopes of living up to the advice that every man that's getting married gets, happy wife, happy life, I have been conditioned and trained with four older sisters, my mother's, my grandmother's, now my wife and my daughter, to simply reply on command, Yes, dear. So when it was suggested that I get my license to help her out on weekends with open houses, as a reflex, I automatically responded, yes, dear. Having been licensed since 1976, you know, she was my mentor, my trainer. She guided me. She was my boss. She gave me orders. And ultimately, she was the all and powerful Oz behind the curtain. So we work together. We also have a daughter, Sarah, who's married, with two, who's given us two grandchildren, Ariana and Dante. I come from a big family still. I have 23 nieces and nephews, and I'm a godfather twice over. And I've learned a lot from not just my, my family, but my parents in particular. And to this day, I strive to live up to be the man that my father was. He instilled in me growing up and, and all of us that just do the right thing, help people, and everything else will fall in place. And I truly believe that to this day. And it is the backbone and the driver of our real estate business. 
Donna has since retired, and now I run the team. She's still the boss, and she's still the all-and-powerful Oz behind the curtain. But our business has always been based off of repeat and referral. So in that vein, right now, I'm going to ask you a favor, and I want you to remember it as we go forward. If you enjoy this program and you enjoy the information that we bring to you and you think it's valuable, I'm going to ask you to share it with your friends and family and give us some nice reviews on Spotify or Apple Music. Uh, this is going to be important to us maintaining the podcast and growing it moving forward. Over the last 17 years, I have helped over 700 people buy or sell a home. I've represented first-time home buyers, people buying their second home, people buying their forever dream home and moving up. We've represented families, major banks, hedge funds, Goldman Sachs, towns and municipalities, counties, estates, builders, and corporations. We've handled small condominiums for less than $100,000, all the way up to multi-million dollar transactions on homes and on land, and basically everything in between. We've seen it all over this time, and we want to bring that experience and knowledge to you. So I'm ranked by Remax as one of the as being in the top one percent of all Remax agents worldwide. I'm actually in the top 800 out of 132,000 agents across the globe. I'm one of the top agents in New Jersey. I handle over 70 transactions myself every single year. And you know what I love most about what we do is I get to have fun while I'm doing it. Uh, everybody says realtors get to set their own schedules, but that's not true. My clients set my schedule, and I'm at their beck and call. But what I learned from working with all of our clients and all of our vendors is, you know, something new every single day from learning about what they do for a living and their jobs, but also learning from the mortgage people every day and the title people and the attorneys and the inspectors we work with. I do truly learn something every day. We will be having conversations with a lot of these professionals in the upcoming episodes to bring you that specialized knowledge and expertise from someone that has been there, done that, done it well for some time, and has gotten the t-shirt several times. So that was the last time you were going to hear about my credentials or me bragging at all. So this is not a sales show for Team Clyde, not looking to get your business. Um, you know, what, with that in mind, when, when selecting an agent, I think it's very important that you buying a house today does not have a direct effect on them being able to make their mortgage or car payment today. It should be all about you. And it should be about insight, guidance, and advice, and helping you make an informed, intelligent decision. Not about them getting a commission so that they can buy a new boat. The goal of real world real estate is very simple. We're not out here to pitch you a bunch of stuff. This isn't sham wow. We're not out to sell a lot of things. You know, I'd love a buy one, get one free as much as anybody, but that's not happening here. We're not looking to solicit your business. We're going to leave that to the robocalls at dinner time and the door knockers out there. Our goal is to produce quality content that gives you the information and the knowledge to move forward with confidence when you're buying and selling a home. I wanted to start Real World Real Estate after I realized that there aren't any podcasts out there for someone that wants to buy a house or to sell a home. I mean, this is the most complicated, stressful, and for most people, the largest transaction they will ever enter into, and there's no podcast or guidance out there. There's plenty out there if you want to try and be a real estate investor or a flipper, isn't there, Gab? A ton. I've listened to it all, and I believed it all. Right. So we're going to call that BS out for what it is. <laughs> um, we're also going to debunk a lot of the myths that are out there and clarify that. And like I said, this is going to be real world, real estate information, stuff that you can use every single day. Um, but we want you, you know, we want you to be fully informed moving forward in this series. And we're going to touch on all aspects of real estate with a strong emphasis on all those things over the last 17 years that have been the, the, the things that gave us the most questions that we've mis witnessed the most confusion from our clients on, that's where we're going to place the emphasis for you, right? So our next episode that you tune into will be with me and Gab, and we're going to be discussing the buying process and how this is actually a process of elimination, not selection. You know, we're also going to talk about the selling process 
How should you select an agent? What should you look at in the marketing program? How should you price your house? How is staging your house and the photographs all make a difference? We're going to go into, if you're a buyer, how to structure an offer depending on what the market conditions are. Because that's going to change if there's a lack of inventory and it's a seller's market and you have to sell yourself. Or if there's an abundance of inventory and it's a buyer's market and that seller has to sell to you now. And also in a neutral market. So there's a million and one different strategies there. We're going to touch base on a little bit on how to negotiate, what you should never do and what you should always do and how you should plan that out. We're going to look into uh, getting a mortgage and we're going to translate all of their lingo and language because it is another language completely. Working as an admin for him for a year and a half, I still don't even know what he says half the time. Unfortunately, when we're doing mortgages, not only do we have multiple acronyms for the same thing, we have multiple names for the same thing, and we use them interchangeably in sentences. Literally, one word has five different definitions or meanings to it. It's insane. So we're going to debunk that, and we're going to interview some really good professionals and have conversations with them, and we're going to discuss you know, the pre-qualification process. What type of mortgages are out there from a FHA, a VA, a conventional, a rehab, construction loan, a jumbo, an arm, you know, a 30-year, a 15-year, a 10-1, 3-1, 5-1, you know. So we're going to go into all of those um, aspects of the mortgage with you. We're also going to dig in and go behind the curtain and kind of look at how the sausage gets made, so to speak. And we're going to start discussing the processing and the underwriter process, who the underwriter is, who the processor is, what's going on back there, who are these people that you never see that determine if you get a mortgage or not. So we're going to peek behind the curtain a little bit. You know, everyone buys title insurance when they buy a home, everyone. But most people, and for that matter, most real estate agents who are professional have no idea what the hell it is or what they're paying for. I'm not sure I even heard of that. So... <laughs> We're going to talk to uh, some title professionals, and we're going to into, you know, what is this biggest item in your closing cost that you're paying for? What is it covering? Why do we need it? You know, what do they do to justify that price for that item? We're going to dig into that, and again, we're going to look behind the curtain, right? What's the processing, pre-closing, post-closing, closing? So you understand all of these items as they're occurring during your transaction. The one I'm most excited about, as I said earlier, we're going to debunk the myths. I don't care if that's calling it on HGTV and how they position these flipping shows. Uh, trust me, I really thought I was going to be the next Property Brothers when I first started with him. Well, a few slight differentials between <laughs> you and Property Brothers. One, there's two of them, and two, they're brothers. <laughs> um. We're going to go into CNBC or Fox Business or, or Bloomberg, right? Because I listen to that in the background all day long. And 90% of the stuff that they say about the real estate market is just that. So uh, we're going to talk to a couple um, insurance brokers so that we fully understand our homeowners insurance policies, what an HO6 is, inside wall. We're going to talk to top agents around the country. You know, I, I'm, I'm very lucky in the fact that because I am one of the top agents in the country, I have good relationship with a lot of those agents in every major marketplace. And we're going to talk to them directly and learn a little bit about their market. Because, listen, I'm an expert in South Jersey, but not in South Florida, not in South Carolina, not in Southern California, definitely not in South Boston. So we're going to bring in the professionals there that are top in their market, the best of the best, and learn a little bit about that marketplace. You know, because Huey Long, who was a famous politician, so some people may have to Google that, he said long ago that all politics is local. Well, it, it actually, it's more effective to say all real estate is local. There are national trends, but it really comes down to the epitome of local, right? Not just the town or the county, but the neighborhood and the street and sometimes what side of the street. So we're going to dive into those markets and give you that local input 
that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else unless you sat on the phone and made a ton of phone calls trying to find the best agents in each market. We're going to bring them to you. Uh, we're going to give you ongoing market updates. And with those market updates, we're going to start at the national level and work our way down to the local level in the regionals, in the states, and give you kind of an update of where we're at there. Um, another one that I'm really excited to, and we're going to discuss this with everyone we have a conversation with, but I'm really looking forward to this because it's the stuff that makes all of us laugh when we're talking to each other at the end of the day. So we're going to be bringing you what we're going to call tales from the field. This is everything that we see when we go out to look at houses or that we hear when we're looking at houses or we're at the settlement table or we're meeting with people. Some of it's funny, some of it's scary, some of it can be a little bit sad at times. Um, and we're also, as I said earlier, we're gonna, on a monthly or, or quarterly basis, pull back the curtain on HGTV and discuss the reality of some of these shows um, and go into Property Brothers, as Gavin mentioned earlier, or Design to Sell, or Flip It, Lose It, whatever it's called, or Million Dollar Listings, LA, West Hampton, New York, wherever all these crazy places are, or the other one that's down in Texas, the design with the people that just bought their own channel. So we're going to pull back the curtain on that a little bit. Uh, we've been, at times, um, approached about being on with our clients. We know a lot of other agents that have been on. So we're going to talk about that process a little bit and how that so drastically differs from reality. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. We want to bring you a lot of information. It's going to be an ongoing process, and we're really excited for you to join us every week. Uh, we're going to be coming to you every Tuesday with a, uh, with a new podcast episode, and we'll be coming in on Thursdays moving forward with quick market updates. So it's going to be a great time. We're going to bring you a lot of professionals, a lot of information. Everything that we bring to you will be available in the show notes. Every professional that we bring in for a conversation, their contact information on social media or phone or email is going to be available in the show notes as well. Um, and then, you know, any, anything that I'm referencing as we're going through this, be it a chart, a spreadsheet, a report, we're going to make sure that all of that stuff is uploaded for you and it's available for you to grab and you can read along and, and have it in front of you while we're doing this so you can go back and reference it later. Um, so we're excited. Um, it's a new, completely new endeavor. So we're a little scared. We're probably going to screw up more than we're going to be willing to admit to. Yeah, please be mindful with the editing and sound. We're still working on... We spent an hour trying to set up our headphones today. Like, we're still working on a lot of it, so just be mindful. We'll get better as we go along with this. And Yeah. Yeah, just remember, you know, Gab's great as my admin and transaction coordinator. But I'm not great at, as an editor yet. <laughs> correct. So there's no sound booth here. We're sitting at our desks, right? Um, this is not a professional endeavor. You know, this is a real estate agent and his uh, assistant – teaching themselves as they go on how to do a podcast. The information is great. Our execution on the podcast side may not be perfect, so bear with us. And trust me, we will laugh at ourselves as we muff this because there's going to be a lot of muffs. A lot. <laughs> An awful lot. Um, <laughs> so at times you may hear kids running around in the background because that means the grandkids came over to visit, but we had to record a show. You may hear the boss the all-powerful Oz behind the curtain, on occasion in the middle of a recording, yell up to the office that she needs something for me for the household. I work from home. Gabby works out of my home with me. So there's no avoiding any of that. Or the doorbell when Amazon Prime shows up with a delivery. <laughs> so that's all going to be there. We're going to try to edit that out as best we can. But again, we're learning as we go. It's an exciting endeavor. I hope you stay with us. I help you grow with us as we learn how to bring you a better content. And uh, I look forward to having this conversation and joining you next week. Take care, be safe, and see you on Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Real World Real Estate. We'll see you next Tuesday for a look into the buying process.